what's up my name is techno here for troubleshoot and welcome back to another video in this quick video i'll be showing you how to use the relatively new rtx voice noise removal as a vst plugin meaning you can use it post rather than while you're recording live using nvidia's official software to apply it to tracks that you've recorded on say digital cameras put them into premiere pro sony vegas adobe audition any other door or anything else that supports vsts it's really simple to get going using third-party free plugins everything is completely free here even though they may be branded of course there's a couple of different plugins that you could be using for this nvidia noise removal ranging from zaymar's voice fx however you need to pay for it to get the rest of the features there is a free demo version available but in this video i'll be highlighting a complete completely free plugin from Corsair. Obviously it's branded like their products, but it doesn't require you to own any of their products nor to give them any money for the plugin, which is great. You'll need two things for this video. First of all, the Nvidia Audio SDK. If you haven't already got that installed, you'll find this link in the description down below. Simply head to the NVIDIA Broadcast Download Center, scroll down until you see audio effects, and download the one relative to your graphics card. NVIDIA 40, 30, and 20 series here. I'm running a 3080 Ti, so I'll download next to RTX 30. I'll click the download to open it when it's done downloading, click yes to open it up, then agree and continue, wait for it to install, and finally close. Then we can download the Corsair plugin, or VST rather, to use in different bits of software. You'll find it linked down below, at elgato.com slash en slash downloads. While the plugin was previously shown as a VST that you can download separately, for now it's included in a pack of VSTs rather than separately. So if you're following other guides, that's where this one deviates a little bit. It's more up to date. Simply click show all on the right hand side here and scroll down. Whereas before you would look for the NVIDIA noise removal, currently you'll need to scroll past the wavelength and look for Algazo audio effect. Simply download this here, then no thanks and open it up when it's done downloading. Run next, I agree next, and you'll see these options here. Elgato Noise Removal NVIDIA, Elgato EQ, and Elgato Noise Removal RNN. This last option over here is noise removal but doesn't require an RTX graphics card. Anyways, next, install, then finally finish, and from this point all we need to do is fire up something where we'll be using it. To start with, I'll open Adobe Premiere Pro, and later on I'll show you Audition, maybe Audacity too. For now I'll open one of my projects, or simply create a new one, I'll create a new sequence, maybe import some footage as well, I'll drop in a video here. All we need to do to get going with the VSC is first of all make sure our door recognizes it. In Premiere Pro, head across to Edit, then Preferences, then audio and inside of the options here, head across to audio plugin manager at the bottom. Simply click scan for plugins and it'll run through the different files on your PC, checking which is which. Eventually, if we scroll to the bottom of the list, you should see Elgato EQ, Elgato noise removal and noise removal in video. All three of these are added here from C program files, common files, VST3, Elgato. Okay, okay. And now if we head across to the effects tab, then audio effects followed by VST3, Three under effect followed by Elgato, you'll see EQ, noise removal, and NVIDIA broadcast noise removal by Elgato. Let's start with the NVIDIA one. I'll drag it onto my audio clip, and inside of my effect controls, I can click edit here. Then we can start by simply turning it on and off, and changing the strength here. There's a little animation to show sort of what's happening, but it's really just a visual indicator of what you're trying to do. You'll need to play around with this to see where you get your best results. The further to the right you push this, the more of your audio will be eaten away by the noise removal AI trying to remove all of the background noise. There's really a sweet spot somewhere in here that you'll need to find for your current recording that you're working on. It's that simple. When you set it up, you can copy this effect here to different tracks simply by Control C, heading across to a different track and Control V to paste it. Just like that, we've added it with our current settings in it. Cool. Let's head across to Adobe Audition. Inside of Audition 2023, I'll drop the video file here, head across to Effects at the very top, then Audio Plugin Manager, once again scan for plugins, wait for it to finish, then in the bottom right, OK, back to the Effects rack, drop down VST3, Effect, 
and Algata, where we can add EQ, noise removal, and NVIDIA Broadcast noise removal by Algato. Adding this, we can simply crank it once again to the right to get some kind of noise removal effect. I'll put it all the way, and just like that, it should already be active. I can hit apply to apply it to my entire track, and after a few seconds, it'll do its best at removing noise. Closing out of addition, I'll head across to, say, Audacity. Audacity scans your VSTs on startup, which makes things really easy. I'll skip the update, close the pop-up and import my audio. Simply selecting something, heading across to effect, you'll see NVIDIA Broadcast Noise Removal by Algato, as well as Algato EQ and Algato Noise Removal here. If I apply the NVIDIA Broadcast one here, once again, we have a slider where we can apply and just like that, it applies it to whatever we have selected. There seems to be something funky going on here. I would assume that's just a visual glitch, but regardless, it's set up and working. We also have access to these other plugins here. Select some noise first, noise removal, turning it on and applying it, it sticks it in and attempts to remove noise from our audio. Pretty simple. Anyways, that's about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. Thank you to Elgato for making this publicly free for everyone. It's nice to have access to these, even if they are branded. My name's been Technobe here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.